Welcome to St. Mary's Western Colville. It's a bit wet uh, today, so we're going to turn around and go inside the church. About a week ago, I was at Ridley Hall in Cambridge. We were there for a meal in which we remembered the life and times of Nicholas Ridley. In 1555, Nicholas Ridley, former Bishop of London, was burnt at the stake in Oxford because of his faith. On the eve before his execution, his brother came to him and offered to stay with Nicholas in his prison cell so that he would not need to be alone on the last night of his life. Nicholas declined. He said he planned to go to bed and get the best night's sleep of his life. The peace of God is a powerful force. It's known in the Old Testament as shalom. And in the Greek, in the New Testament, irene. This peace, this shalom, means more than just an absence of war or hostility, although it includes that as well. It also means harmony with God and things and people. A deep sense of God's peace in your life. And that is a life-changing peace. As the Apostle Paul once put it in his letter to the church in Philippi, in chapter 4, verse 7, he talks about the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, which will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the kind of peace which we are invited to receive into our lives. But we need to know this peace in our lives before we can share it with other people. A peace which the world needs to receive, but which we need to receive each and every day. It also says this in Psalm 46. I, I love these words. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Fear is the opposite of peace. And yet the love of Jesus Christ for us can drive out all our fears. It's not that the things that we fear will never happen. They may well happen. But if they do, they won't overwhelm you. They won't overcome you because nothing is greater than the power of the peace of God in Jesus Christ and his love for us. What an amazing invitation then to us today to be a person of that kind of peace to ask God to receive that kind of peace, that shalom in your life and to seek opportunities to share it 
with those around you.